right guys, I'm in Canal Fulton, Ohio here. We got another Dollar Tree. Let's go in here, see if we can find some uh, some cool DVDs. Kind of trying to help Wally find his Langoliers DVD too, if he hasn't found it already. But yeah, let's go on in here and keep the hunt going. No helium, sorry. Ooh, they got the new floor too. Pretty cool. Alright, let's just start going down aisles here and seeing what we can find. You gotta love the kinds of things that are close to what the originals are called. Fruit rings like Fruit Loops, Apple Bits like Apple Jacks. And then we got Galactic Brownies down here, like Cosmic Brownies. We got Raisin Bran, it's like Raisin Bran. Okay, let's... You know what? We're going to look down here first this time. In fact, here they are, guys. Okay, now. Assassin's Creed, <laughs> Assassin's Creed and American Violence. We're seeing a bunch of those. I've never seen Java Heat. Mickey Rourke. Java Heat. Hmm, let's see. Fast Girl. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere. It doesn't look very good, though. The Power of a Few. What's that? Oh, Christopher Walken, Christian Slater. I can't imagine that would be bad, especially with Christopher Walken in it. Hmm. Snow Girl and the Dark Crystal. Okay. Whoops. Master Harold and the Boys. Freddie Highmore is in that one. The Good Doctor. Okay, let's. Con Man, I don't think I've seen this one anywhere. Who's in that? Talia Shire, Armand Asante, Ving Rames, James Khan. Huh. A Place at the Table. I love documentaries from the people that brought you Food, Inc. If another nation was doing this to our children, we'd be at war. Hmm. That looks pretty interesting. What the heck? Jeff Bridges is in that. I mean, it's a, it's a documentary, but... Okay, I dug those out. Let's see what we got here. Echoes of War. Who is in that? William Forsyth. That might be pretty good. It looks like a Civil War thing. Playing for Love. Never heard of that one. Robert Townsend. Hmm. The Key Man? I haven't heard of that one either. Hugo Weaving is in that one. Kevin Hart. Oh, stand up. I'm a grown little man. The Identical. They have a lot of them I haven't heard of. Seth Green is in this one. Joey Pants is in this one. Ashley Judd, Ray Liotta. That's what I am. The heck? I'm a teacher, I'm a singer, I'm a writer. That's what I am. Featuring Randy Orton. Hmm. Devils in the Details. Ray Liotta. No thanks. Uh, let's learning to drive. I don't know what that is. All right, let's see. Good Kids, The Marine Three, Homefront, The Infiltrator, Brian Cranston. Uh, it's loose in there. Midnight Man. Come on. Lukewarm. Hey, John Schneider's in that one. Duke Boys. Okay, we're gonna have to get these over here so we can see what's under them. Wait, did we even look at these? Um, yeah, they all look like ones we've already seen. Lady Blood Fight, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Parker's Anchor Garlic and Gunpowder. What the heck is that? That actually looks kind of cool. I like that box art. Who's in that? Uh, Martin Cove. He's the guy from uh, from the Karate Kid that played the sensei for Cobra Kai. Parker's Anchor. House of Steinbrenner. Oh. Forced to Fight. Playing for Love. Echoes of War. Like Cotton Twines. What the heck is that? Hmm. That might be pretty good, actually. Let's see, uh, Blood Sand Angle. Here's a spooky one. I sense something spooky, that's what I'm talking about. Halloween. 
Shapes Edition IT. We got that the other day. Space Pop. Stupid. Well, it looks like that's it for the movies, at least for right here. I'm going to keep looking a little bit, see if they have anything else. You gotta love this place. I mean, the tools are not the greatest ever, obviously, but I mean, if you needed something just to get through a simple project, you know, some screwdrivers here, these are Phillips heads, or uh, pliers or whatever, needle nose pliers. I mean, they got what you need, you know, if you're just like trying to put together a DVD uh, TV stand or something, you know, or here's some paint brushes, and you'd only be dropping a buck a piece on this kind of stuff. Oh cool, here's Goo Gone for a buck. I mean, even a bottle like this anywhere else is at least two, three bucks. The neighbor kids across the street yesterday had a bottle like this. Um, their mom was watering the flowers and they had one of these spray bottles and there's two little boys living over there. She gave the one boy this bottle and he's standing there spraying it. The other one was going absolutely ballistic and then he'd get it away from him and that one would go absolutely ballistic. It was crazy. These things are delicious, guys. Chocolate, hazelnut, pyrrolene, cream-filled wafers. Oh, I could just power through all those right now. <laughs> These are really good if you put, like, some ice in a blender and crush the ice. And then you pour some of this in and put uh, heavy whipping cream. Oh, man. Those end up tasting, not the orange mango, it has to be like the pineapple one, but it ends up tasting like that new thing they have over at Taco Bell. Uh, pineapple whip freeze or something like that. So good. I don't know if I've ever seen white Twix before. I bet they'd be tasty though. I've seen the peanut butter ones and those are my favorites. These are cool if you got kids. They're little uh, towels, they're washcloths. And they come all scrunched up like this in these little shapes like hearts and circles and stuff like that here's one and it's supposed to be a flower or something but you put it in water you take the plastic off and it's still shaped like that and you stick it in the water and as it absorbs it turns out like this and here's all the examples here captain america little girls things disney princesses and paw patrol and stuff pretty cool i bought some of these for my granddaughters one day hey uh, Toy Story. Cool. I actually really like these Vienna Bites. I buy these when I'm on my low-carb uh, way of eating because there's not many carbs in them. And it's a good little snack that I can just pull out of the cupboard and eat. I'm going to get some. You can put, like, taco sauce and stuff on these, and they're really good. Potato knockies. I've never tasted any of this macaroni and cheese from here, but there are people on YouTube who do... Uh, taste tests of things from the Dollar Tree. From what I understand, most of it turns out to actually be pretty decent, too. My mom keeps telling me I need to get clothes pins for when I'm in the RV, which I probably should. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to be hanging stuff to dry it. You know what? All the other things my mom's told me to do that I didn't listen to, and she was right, I'm going to get them. <laughs> Alright guys, well, no DVDs, but I did get a couple of other things that I needed. Man, I cannot even tell you how hot it is in there with these stupid masks on. 